happy birthday! Today is Pentecost, the day we celebrate the birthday of the church. Before we tell our story, let's set our sacred circle. And today you'll notice that for when we say God the Holy Spirit, I'm going to be using a different symbol today. We've been using the dove that reminds us of Jesus' baptism. But today we're going to use a candle. And after today's story, I think you'll understand why. So we remember God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we've created a triangle. And what's in the middle of our triangle? That's right, love. Love holds our trinity together and love holds our circle together, even when we're not right beside each other. So our story today begins with after Jesus died, and God made him alive again. Jesus went to live with God. Jesus' disciples were huddled together in an upper room. The doors were locked, the shutters were closed. Jesus had told them to wait in Jerusalem. I'm going to send you a special present the Holy Spirit is coming. So there they were, waiting. And suddenly a strong wind filled the little room, whistling through the walls. And there, on everyone's head, were flickering flames. Fire that didn't hurt or burn. How it happened, they didn't know. They had seen Jesus go away, but... Now he felt even closer than he had been before inside their hearts. And so they threw open the door and ran out and began to share the good news with the world. The disciples went and told the world about Jesus about the kingdom of God. And more and more people heard about the love of Jesus, about God. More and more people until your grandparents heard And your parents heard. And now you have heard. Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit to be our helper and to be our comforter. And to help us do our work here on earth. And Jesus also gave us a couple of reminders about what our work on earth would be. Jesus said that we are salt and that we are light. I'm making chocolate chip cookies today. My recipe has eggs and butter and sugar and flour. And do you know what else? It's a very important ingredient when you're making chocolate chip cookies. Salt, just a little bit. A little bit of salt makes the chocolate chip cookies taste sweeter. Did you know that? Salt enhances the flavor. Oh, these are gonna be so good. You now Jesus told his followers that they were the salt of the earth. I wonder what Jesus was thinking the followers could enhance or make better. I've got it. What could be sweeter than God's love? And God's love is all around us. But when you, the salt of the earth, interact with it, when you share it and spread it 
and give it to others, you enhance it. You make it even sweeter, even bigger. And that is pretty amazing. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Boys and girls, you are salt. You make the love of God sweeter for the world. And you are light. You shine bright so that when others see the good things that you do and the way that you love others, they can't help but know the Jesus that lives inside of you. Boys and girls, I love you, and I can't wait to see you again. As we leave, I'm going to change the light. And remind you that just because the light changes doesn't go anywhere. In fact, Maybe some of this changed light is finding its way to you right now. And we can all remember that wherever we go, the Spirit of God is always with us. And the love of God And the love of Jesus is with us too. Boys and girls, I love you. We'll see you later.